Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends for another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding somebody that I wanted for a very long time. And I've had his egg for months. And I don't even remember where I got it. But we're going to be hatching him here today. This is Gregors of Lyria. And Gregors is a legendary. He is Earth. He is part of the Good Legions. He is a superhero, and he takes time for adventuring. Lots of adventuring. I notice he's only got one sword right now. I'm sure he's going to have a second, because that's what witchers do. Unfortunately, this witcher only has one open ruin slot. We'll see whether or not he is going to be worth the investment to open the others in the future. But for now, he will begin his witcher training over here. I see he knows how to use his signs. Alrighty. Oh, and that completed a book for me. Ooh, I'll have to wonder who gets that. Alright, let me just take care of that very quickly, because otherwise I will utterly forget about it. Alright, so let's find our Witcher here. That's his name. No, that is not his name. And his name is not negotiable. No, it is not. Because his name is, of course... All right, so this is uh, Gregors of Lyria. He is a legendary. He is Earth. He is also immune to possession. You do not get into the mind of a witcher. All right, his strength is pretty good. His life is a little above normal. The old normal, that is. You did notice the three evolutions. Yes, that's very rare these days. His speed is actually not so bad at all. Kind of equal to his strength. Very dexterous, I'm guessing. All right, let's check out his initial skills. Aspiring Witcher. Deals low physical damage. And Series Apprentice. How does that work? Deals moderate earth damage. And, of course, his special skill, which, of course, is named after his fire sign, Igni. Deals very heavy special damage to all enemies, may stun and burn all enemies. Ooh, very powerful. He must have leveled up his signs very well. Specked into them, in fact. Gregors has just completed his training as a witcher, and he can't wait to prove his skills and start making money by saving villagers from the claws of many dangerous monsters. Being a monster himself, no one's better for the job. All right, so he's just starting out. He's going to get out there. He's going to be a witcher. Okay, he's pouring stuff on his sword. Awesome. Oils, of course. All right, well, you know what? We need to feed him up because he needs to be big to fight off those drowners. So let's get going. Let's get him up to his first evolution. And I do mean first evolution. Oh, he has a second sword now. That looks like the steel one he has in his hands right now. I'm guessing that uh, he's going to be killing humans. I'm okay with that. All right, so let's start with the skills, because after all, a witcher must have his skills. So let's get him up to level 7. Modified Quen. Okay, shielding. Okay, well, I guess they're doing that as a heal here. Okay, deals moderate special damage, heals by 30%. That's not bad. Um, it's a low damage, though, but if he's going to be doing healing with his attacks, I'm going to be okay with that. All right, so let's continue to level 10. More skills. Weak soil. Deals moderate earth damage. 50% chance of applying quicksands to target. Ooh, that's kind of good. That's actually decent damage and a zero cooldown. Uh, it's only a 50% chance of quicksands, but it'll get better, I'm sure. That quick thing, I'm, gonna, I'm still having trouble getting used to that. All right, so let's get to level 15. And another skill. Bear Claw. Deals moderate special damage, 50% chance of making target bleed. Okay, that's not so bad. We'll just throw that there. Okay, he's, he's having fun with that fire, isn't he? All right, let's continue to level 20. Bear School. Deals moderate special damage, gains damage boost. Requires cooldown. All right, that's going to be a damage boost. I'll just throw that there. Probably not going to keep that one. Hopefully he does stuff like that in the future. That's good. All right, so let's get to level 25. And, of course, his final form. 
cleaning potion deals heavy earth damage removes all negative status effects from itself gives stun immunity to himself oh that's not bad that's pretty good damage too so i'm just gonna put that right there okay and there he is gregor's of lyria he is a witcher okay he's getting bear stuff is he part of the bear school he is getting a lot of bear stuff here but he's good with his signs all right, so let's continue to level 30. We want more skills. Earth Collapse. Deals heavy earth damage. May apply quicksand. All right, so I think he had this one here. Yeah, I mean, I'm much rather the bigger damage and the absolute and the may uh, gives quicksand. It is an extra... It's got a cooldown to it, but I don't really mind about that. All right, so let's continue. We want more skills. And 35 will have another. Silver Sword deals massive special damage. May apply bleeding and quicksand to target. Wow, that's a good one right there. I'm going to put it there for now. I don't think there's any chance of me keeping that one. 30% heal is pretty cool, but that is really low damage. So I'm kind of hoping he might get something a little bigger than that. Okay, that's a really good hit, too. Got to hold on to that one. Uh, Silver Sword, of course, is used against monsters, but let's face it. All his opponents are going to be monsters, right? All right, so let's go. He does seem to have the Silver Sword out now, doesn't he? Yep. All right, so let's get to 40. We should have two more left. Bear Rage. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies. May make targets bleed. All right, so... All right, I am going to put this one here. I don't think I'm going to grab that one again. You know, the problem I have with that one is it's a three-round cooldown. This one here, yeah, you got to go with that one, right? I guess I'll make my decisions on what I'm going to keep once I see his last skill, because I do believe he's got one more left. So let's find out what it is. Not that one. Is there anything I just want to swap that with? Stun immunity... Uh, the heavy attack and it gives and it clears off negative status effects. Stun immunity can be useful too, but I mean that's a nice throw in, right? Not losing that one. I kind of like. First of all, it's a bigger hit. It's an earth damage hit. It's a bigger hit and it gives quicksands. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on to one. All right, let's just see if we can find that last skill. All right, level fifty. Groundbreaker deals moderate earth damage to all enemies, may apply quicksands to all enemies. Well, well, got to go with this one now, right? I mean, look at that. That's that's very high moderate. That's almost that's almost high damage there. So, I mean, yeah, you got to go with that one. I mean, it's got a three round cooldown, but it's pretty nice. So, yeah, you got to go with that one. Okay, and I do believe that's his skills, so let's just get him to 60, and then we'll take a quick look around. All right, bear form. I don't know about that one. Uh, the damage boost? I have to see. And that one here, we have the group version of that. All right, so level 60. Let's take a quick look at his skills and see here now. All right, now, I'm not losing the first one. There's no question about that, right? Um, I'm going to also say there's no chance I'm going to lose this one, too. Now this one, I already have them bleeding and quicksanding, so I might be able to lose this one. The thing is, do they do the same damage? No, the, this one does massive damage. But this one is good support for him too, you know? He's already, if he's done his two group attacks, theoretically speaking, they already have quicksands, and they already have bleeding. So if I'm looking at this, I'm looking at it for the massive damage. Unless somebody cleaned them off themselves or they happen to resist them. Well, obviously, I don't think I'm going to go with this one because, like I just said, we're already doing that, right? The healing attack? You know, if it was a zero cooldown, I know that would be overpowered. But if it was a zero cooldown, I'd probably go with it. But a two round? No, no, no. That one's got a really big cooldown. I think I'm going to stick with what I have. Let's just take another look here. Modify Quinn. Yeah, I, I'm, per, I'm just going to stick with what I have. I, I kind of like these skills. Uh, having two one-round cooldowns is really not a bad thing. Especially when one of them is kind of supporty for himself. All right, let's take a look at his skills. His strength is... 
not as good as modern individuals, but it's pretty good. His speed is around this, you know, it is a little bit, that's nearly 2200, which isn't bad for a damage dealer, and that's what he is. He's a damage dealer. Uh, his life is above normal by the old rules, right? So if he was out today, he'd have like 13 or 14,000, you know. But I mean, he is an older one. You did see the three evolutions there. So for his time, really good in terms of normally what his stats would be. Um, but for today, not so good. But his skills are really good. As a matter of fact, speaking of those skills, let's take a look at them. All right, we'll start off with this one. Bear Rage. I'm guessing he was from the, uh, the bear training witcher school. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies, may make all targets bleed. All right, so that's three rounds, and it's a two-round cooldown, so he gets to use this once every three rounds, which is pretty useful. And it's, it's high moderate damage, so it's going to do damage, too. All right, and then we have this one. Cleaning Potion. Deals heavy earth damage, removes all negative status effects from itself, gives stun immunity to itself. Now, obviously... If the negative status effects are something that has him under control, well, he's probably not going to use this, right? But, I mean, there's a lot of things he can remove from himself, which would be a real pain right there. I mean, he might have Curse or he might have Reaper or something like that, and he's going to about to die so he could do this attack, hit somebody, and remove that. And if there's a stunner in the group, maybe he can give himself stun immunity. So this is a pretty good hit. Another thing about it is it's a good hit, too. It's high heavy earth damage, so really good. And then we have this one. Silver Sword deals massive special damage, may apply bleeding and quicksand. All right, so he's got two group attacks that do bleeding and quicksand. So I don't necessarily look at them as being the important part of this attack, but they could be very useful. I mean, if nothing else, maybe you're refreshing them or somebody re you know resisted it and you're just going to attempt to reapply. But the thing is, this does do massive special damage. And it has a one-round cooldown. So this is a really good attack right here. So definitely there was no question of whether I'm going to keep this one or not. And then we have this one. Groundbreaker. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. May apply quicksands to all enemies. So this is a higher moderate damage attack than the first one here. There's more damage here. This is going to be earth, attack, earth damage, but it's more damage. And also it's going to give the torture effect quicksands. Just like the first one gives a torture effect of bleeding. So the two of them together do a lot of damage. He is a damage dealer. He's got two group attacks that do high to medium moderate damage and each of them give torture effects. He's also got two individual attacks that do heavy and massive damage. So I mean the thing is you have to take that into account when we start talking about runes. Now, his strength was good once upon a time. It's not so great now, but still, you're going to put damage on him. Personally, myself, I see two nice little strength runes over here to give him nice damage here, so he can inflict a lot of damage when he attacks. In terms of the last one, I'm thinking group speed. You know, support speed, that's what I'm thinking in terms of. I don't think I would give him a single target one, because I don't have anything that will buff him. I don't have anything that he can take advantage of. You know, like he's going to debuff them against, say, earth damage and then come back with an earth damage attack. I just don't see a reason to give him like a single speed. You know, I think that he's going to do what he does when he does it. And if he's going to be making the entire team faster, I think that's a better support for him, you know. I really like his stuff, and the fact that he is immune to possession means tactically he can be very good in certain situations. In certain wars, for instance, where maybe the denial on the other side is going to attempt to possess. Well, throw him in there, and it's not a problem, right? You do not get into the head of a witcher. Unless, of course, you're like a really hot sorceress in which case, hey, everybody's got his kryptonite, right? Anyway, like I said, I'm really happy with his skills. He's a good damage dealer, and uh, even if he gets his cooldowns activated, he's got two really good attacks that are just one round cooldown, so, you know, he's going to meditate and come after you after that, right? I can't wait to start testing with him. He's definitely going to be in the next testing video. Anyway, I think that's going to do for now, so thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it, and play games because games are fun. See ya!